holding hands and praying. The community comes together to cherish the memories of 14-year-old Kanaya Bryant. Growing up with her since elementary school, seeing her grow into the person that she is, it was hard. Kanaya died on July 10th due to a senseless act of gun violence, something Kanaya's friend Samaya Walker says should have never happened. It's never just a, maybe I need to put the gun down, maybe I need to step away from the violence because it's killing my friends. Like, I just feel like it's never going to be fixed. I wish it could be. It's not worth it. It's not worth your life at the end of the day. It sounds like you've given up hope. I really did in this generation. Knowing that's how her daughter feels keeps Sierra McCollin awake at night thinking about when will the gun violence stop. Our next generation is dying out. So what are we going to have? Who's going to take care of us when we get old? If they are, we burying them all. And that's where organizations like Ceasefire Detroit step in, working tirelessly to connect with the youth. Helping them understand that guns are not the answer to a problem. So y'all been watching the news, man. Yeah. Yeah. Babies getting shot every day, all day, man. Phil works with Ceasefire Detroit, and with him are teens from the city's east side, but two different areas. It's all conflict. I watched the new iPhone, bro. I got gunned down by the iPhone. Another guy shoot up the whole party. Eight people shot over what? A parking space, bro. Quincy Smith from Ceasefire Detroit says the youth of today lacks the ability to de-escalate a situation. When you go out on the streets and you communicate with the youth, what are you hearing from them? It's learned behavior. Um, a lot of it, it's, it's what they, they see in their community every day. So when youth come up to you and say, hey, look, you know, on the news we see a lot of gun violence happening and we need arms and ammunition to protect ourselves. We need these, these firearms to protect ourselves. Right. What do you tell them? You have to think about the entire community and what your actions, what it means to other people. Um, so it's a tough conversation, you know, but, um, and, and, you know, people have the right to bear arms, but at the same time, it's, it's, it's too much violence going on and we've got we've to take a different approach. Besides parents monitoring their kids, the team is also urging the community to start speaking up. You got to put on empathy and understand what it may feel like if I lost my loved one. I would want somebody to speak up because I would want justice, right? So you can't just think about yourself. In the end, the message is simple. Guns down, guns up! Now, if you or your loved one needs help when it comes to gun violence, all you gotta do is reach out to organizations like Ceasefire Detroit and their details you can find on our website, wxyz.com. I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News.